starring Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. Lassie! Lassie! Gramps, have you seen Lassie? Nope. She hasn't been around since this morning. I think something's wrong. Well, she can take care of herself a lot better than some people. Lassie. Lassie. Gramps, she's been hurt. She must have been in a fight. Better bring her in the house. Come on, girl. Oh, there you are. I was just going to call you. Dinner's almost... What is it? Lassie. She's, she's been hurt. Oh, what happened? I think she was in a fight and was something big. Could it have been a wildcat? Uh, there ain't a wildcat living. Could make claw marks that size. What do you think, Dad? Well, there was talk of a raider over the Teals. Uh, Jim lost one of his goats. Go get me some salve, please, dear. Will she be all right? Get the salve, honey. We'll get Doc Weaver if we need him. Now listen, I want you to show me where you had that fight, you understand? Must have sure had a narrow escape. Looks to me like you could have been killed. Was it a wolf girl? A wolf? <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, I think we'd better get out of here. Step right up, ladies and gentlemen, and meet the champ. Three in a row. Three in a row. Step right up, ladies and gentlemen, and meet the champ. Not yet, you're not. I've still got a turn coming. Oh, hi, Jeff. Come here. Hi. Hi, Jeff. Hi, boy. Hello, Porky. You in this, too? Huh. You know me better than that. My pa would tear my hide if you saw me with a slingshot. That turkey shoot was a slingshot contest. We'd have turkey every day for a year at our house. Not with my pa shooting, you wouldn't. <laughs> Look who's talking. My dad just got a new telescopic sight. Nobody else in that contest got a chance. My father can shoot better than anybody else around here, with his eyes closed. What are they talking about? Oh, the Calverton Men's Club is holding that turkey shoot Saturday. When you grab to the meeting? No, he said he was too tired. My pop could beat your pop any day of the week. Listen to him. All they do is brag about their fathers. Yeah, my pop could win that turkey shoot without even trying. You think they're bragging? What are you doing? Oh, gosh, I, I guess I was bragging, too. I got an idea, Jeff. Why don't you come to the turkey shoot with me and Pop Saturday? Oh, no thanks. My gramps will be in that turkey shoot, too, you know. I'll go with him. Ah, uh, you kidding? He's so old, they probably won't even let him enter. Even if he was a hundred, he could beat anybody around here. He'll enter, all right. And he'll win, too. You just wait and see. Come on, girl. I'm just mad. Mad clean through. Guys give me a pain in the neck. Just wait till they see Gramps up there, though. Shooting those bullseyes down one after the other. Ah, oh, you kidding? He's so old, they probably won't even let him in. Won't even let him in. Won't even let him in. I wonder if Pete is right. I wonder if Gramps is too old to enter. <laughs> I 
What if they won't let Gramps shoot? Oh, no, that's crazy. Being old doesn't have anything to do with it. The only trouble is, Gramps may not want to do it. It's not fair. It just isn't fair. It's not my fault if I don't have a father. I can't help it. I bet if I did have one, though, he'd sure make those guys eat crow. Well, we might as well go home and ask Gramps to get it over with. Come on, girl. I don't know. I just don't know. To tell the truth, uh, I'm afraid I'm a little rusty. You can practice, Gramps. It won't take long and we'll help you, won't we, girl? Besides, I, I don't even remember where I put that old 22 anymore. Hit it away about uh, ten years ago. Well, let's find it. I'll bet you can shoot better than any of them right now. I put it away when your mother and me uh, heard about your father. Gosh, I'll bet if he was in that contest, nobody'd even enter. They'd be so afraid. You know something? I'll bet I could give them braggers a run for their money. Well, then you will, Gramps. If you hear that, yeah. girl, let's go tell Mom. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, Jeff. Wait a minute. You're forgetting something, ain't you? You know how your ma feels about shooting. You can talk to her, Gramps. She'll listen to you. I wouldn't want to say anything that's a reminder of why we put that gun away. Gosh, all the other kids... I guess a man's got a right to enter a turkey shoot if he wants to. I don't know what your mom'll say, but uh, you can count on me. Oh, thanks, Gramps. <laughs> Mom! Mom! I'll try it. And everybody was laughing at, at me. So I told them that Gramps was going to enter. Just beat the tar out of their fathers and their grandfathers and their uncles, too. And you're not even listening to me. Uh, who was making fun of you, Jeff? Well, Woody and Ken and Pete. But I'm not worried anymore because Gramps is going to show them, aren't you, Gramps? Uh, yep. You remember when I showed Charlie Baker I could take three shots in the tin can before it hit the ground? He never would have believed it if he hadn't seen it with his own eyes. If I remember correctly, Dad, that rifle is in the uh, cellar in the old wardrobe trunk with a lot of other things. Well, I'll get it for you, Gramps. Yes. You pull the trunk out into the middle of the cellar so Dad can have light to see by. But that's all. Dad'll be down in a minute to open it up for you. Sure, Mom. Come on, girl. Let's go. Well, good for you. You know, for a minute, I didn't think you were going to understand. Oh, Dad, I, I never forget that Jeff needs a father. Yeah. I should have known. But let me tell you something, girl. As long as I'm around here, there's going to be one man that he can depend on. Now, I better go and see about that gun. You know, you can't enter a turkey shoot without a gun. And don't you worry about me winning, either. I'll show those fellows a thing or two about shooting. I'm sure you will, Dad.
better shooting than that in the pie throwing contest. I don't know. He wasn't here when I came down. Well, his rifle's not here, and it's not in his room, either. He must be practicing. Come on, girl, let's go find him. side of a mountain. Might as well make the last miss, then quit. Hi, Graham. Been looking all over for yeah. you. Hey. Boy, that's pretty good shooting. Well, yeah. Looks like that contest is in the bag now. Yeah, you just wait and see. Why, well, that's just, just wonderful, dear. Oh, my. Turkey shoot or no turkey shoot, if you don't slow down and eat like a human being, you're going to spend the rest of the day right here. Oh, Mom, I don't want to be late. Oh, no hurry, boy. Always shoot better on a full stomach. Well, we better get started with this. Oh, honestly, I don't know which of you is worse. Oh, can I go now? Yes, yes, but first, honey, I, I have something I want to say to you. Oh, Mom. Honey, there's something I want you to understand that's very important. You see... Gramps would never have entered this competition if it weren't for you. Now, that's the thing for you to remember. Not whether he wins or loses. Okay, but don't you worry. He'll win. You'll see. Can I go now? Yes, dear. You may go. Oh, Sam, Come on, Leslie. Come on, Leslie. I picked you some sandwiches. In case you get hungry. Okay. I'm not going to eat much, though. I'm going to save my appetite for that big turkey we'll bring home. Oh, Dad. Yes, Helen? Well, I, I, I just wanted to tell you that it doesn't matter if you don't win the turkey, because I have plenty of food in the house for supper tonight. You just keep the oven hot. We'll be home early. All right. Bye, Mom. Come on. Good luck. I'm mighty glad you came down, George. I've been warning these other fellas they might as well pack up and go home if a real marksman showed up. I don't go buttering me up, Frank. A shooting match ain't no shooting match unless you got someone to shoot against you. When do we begin? Oh, I'm ready now. But first, as the official judge of this event, I must ask for the entry fee. Huh? One dollar, please. One dollar? <laughs> I could buy a turkey for a dollar. Well, seeing as how you're probably going to take the cup home anyway, I don't think you'll miss this. All right, let's get going now, huh? All right, all contestants get ready. The shooting's about to begin. The first event will be Slow Fire. And uh, it'll be Matt Brockway first. You show him, Pop. <laughs> you should have told me you were coming down, George. 
How to save myself the entry fee. <laughs> well, don't give me the cup yet, because we still got a lot of shooting to do, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Came in second. Well, it's not over yet. The next event will be rapid fire. George Miller to the line. Good luck, Grant. Keep your fingers crossed, Jeff. All ready, Doc. When I give the word, you have ten seconds. Fire! Be going, Gramps. Yeah, guess we had time. Come on, girl. I guess these old eyes ain't quite as sharp as they used to be. Who cares about an old turkey shoot anyway? You know, there was a fellow once said that. Uh, there's no fool like an old fool. I guess he was talking about me. Something wrong? Got a cinder in my eye. I get it out. You sit tight. I know it is. You wait here. I'll get my gun. I'll be worried. <laughs> yeah. Come on, girl. I'm sorry about the turkey shoot. Oh, who cares about that? Well, I thought you were so anxious to have Gramps win. Sure, I wanted him to win, but just shooting at a target that's just standing there. It's no trick to that. Well, them's kind words, son. But the truth of the matter is, I, 
I guess I ain't as young as I used to be. Well, do you think that Mr. Brockway or Mr. Teal or, or Mr. Ryan could have hit that wolf? Well, Gramps hit him with a 22 and killed him with the first shot. I'm proud of you, Gramps. I really am. So am I. Wait till I tell Porky and Woody and Pete and Ken. They can keep their old turkey. You're the best shot in the whole world. Even Lassie thinks so. <laughs>